everyone, I'm Rebecca and spring is finally here on the homestead and there's a lot of gardening things to get done, right? Um, we have a lot of work to do outside and with um, some planting and thinning and some garden prep. We're going to be doing some <laughs> uh, sweet potato slips and planting some peas. So I have my helper here and my other helper is taking a nap right now, but we would love for you to follow along and join us this week um, as we go about our garden chores. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. <laughs> Glasses, I'll show you. So we're gonna try to grow sweet potato slips. So okay, like three or four. It's, good job, but it, it's like a cross. Yeah, yeah kind of like that. And then we put it down like that. And then we're gonna fill it with water when we're done. So what you wanna do is these are just sweet potatoes from the store. They're organic. Uh, they are organic sweet potatoes. They spray um, non-organic ones, so they won't. It's not going to work. So make sure they're organic. But we did two different types. This is the nice purple one, and then we just got the regular orange one that that you're more that's more familiar, I guess. Um, and then what you do is you want the um, the larger end. <laughs> There's like the skinnier side, and then the larger end. The larger end down. Um, and then you can do like three or four toothpicks here and then you use a glass jar, use a wide mouth mason jar and then you just set it in there and then we're going to fill it with water just so that, let me see, just so it's about covered to right there. And then after um, a little while, um, maybe be a, a week or so, you're going to start seeing little roots start coming out the bottom so I'll update the video as you see them grow but they're gonna make roots first and then they're gonna start shooting out little um, sweet potato slips and then once they're about five six inches long you could take them off of there and then you put them in just a glass of water to root and then you'll see on the bottom of the shoots little roots growing out and then you have your slip and then you plant those in the ground okay. but they really like um, they really like warm weather. They're very sensitive to frost, so that's been my mistake in the past. Here you go. Thank you. So I'm just gonna go like this. Good job. And I have my little helper here. My little helper, Hannah. And you want to make sure that you're changing up the water regularly. Not every day or anything, but you know, every couple times a week just change it out what so that road, Mama? these are toothpicks. Oh, toothpicks change it out so that it doesn't get moldy and ruin your potatoes so. okay next potato please so that the bottom section here is covered with water and then you'll see the roots start coming out the whole process should take about six weeks, six to eight weeks. And I'm not going to plant them out until June this year. I planted them out earlier than that and they just were not happy, so we're going to do it a little later. With them, um, you can just sit them in a sunny windowsill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just set them up in my window up here. We're gonna do some radishes and beets and some carrots and turnips. And while my two-year-old is sleeping, that's what we're gonna do. I have Sayla here on my back. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, Donnie's gonna come too. There's Donnie. Eggs in there? Oh yeah, we gotta get those out of there, huh? Ah, <laughs> we will later. We're gonna go to the garden and clear out those beds. Remember that? Thank you. Oh, thank you. You ready to help? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> we're, oh, gonna run. Run, run, run. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of garden cleanup here. Uh, still have the dead plants that grew last year um, to be taken care of and do a little bed prep so that the beds are ready to plant when we need to plant them. There is water there. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do right now. See, all this needs to be weeded. We need to get all the sunflower stakes out of here. Sunflower stakes. Sunflower stalks out of here. It all cleaned up so that we can have it ready to go and we need to plant something in there. So. Asparagus crowns, they are Jersey night. Uh, there's 12 crowns and I need to get those in the ground. So I'm going to put them in this row here. I'm gonna dig a trench about uh, six to 10 inches deep, and I'm gonna space them around 12 inches apart, 12 to 18 inches. Okay, so actually I'm going to, instead of putting it in the main bed over there, I'm gonna dig a trench right here and have that be my asparagus bed. Down there. Uh, just sprinkle a little bit in the trench help it out a little bit. And then you want the crown part to be covered by two inches of soil, uh, two to three inches, and then we'll start covering it up a little bit more as the summer goes on. And then I'll top dress it with some compost later on. So but this here is the crown. We don't want to damage that at all. We're going to spread this out like an octopus. And then this is going to be covered by two inches of soil. So we're going to do that. And hopefully the dog doesn't try to run away from this. So the dog just snatched that one up and ate it. So that one's going to be no good. A big tub of totem strawberry strawberries. They're a spring bearing strawberry plant. So I got this to this whole tub for about 30 bucks at a greenhouse. And so I'm just gonna dump them out and separate them and see how many that I have. Oh you got you got one? Good. Got little Hannah back there. Are you going back in your tent? Okay, have fun. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna dump this out and see what we got. Here, two. So we're just gonna keep doing that and see how many we can come up with here.
you make? Row. You made a row? Yes. Very nice. Okay, I have a, a little moment. Both of the girls are down sleeping, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to get the peas planted into the garden. Um, I have a few different varieties I'm gonna be doing. Um, these ones are the Lincoln peas. I grew them last year, um, and I was really happy with them. They were really good flavor, had a lot of pods. And uh, these are ones from the seed packet, and these are ones that I saved from last year. So I, I wanted to do both just in case the ones I saved didn't work, but we'll see. I'm, I'm excited to see if they work out. Then we don't need to buy peas anymore. Um, and then I'm going to be doing the sugar snap peas and the Oregon sugar pod too. I've never grown those before. Those are the snow peas. So we got a few different types. Um, and then we just... I soaked them in water the night before, so they've been soaking overnight. Um, you want to do that to just let the peas take in the water and swell up and um, they'll, the germination rate will be a lot better. Um, so I'm going to go get those in the ground. What is it? That's a sprout. It's a sprout? Yeah. It's coming in, huh? Mm -hmm. It's growing. <laughs> what do you have? Dandelions. Oh, you found dandelions? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> right there? <laughs> oh, so pretty. I like those. Oh, is that an old sunflower from last year? <laughs> I have this whole tray here. Uh, these are the Shasta daisies, the hyssop, and the snapdragons. And so I have, um, I still need to thin out some of them um, down to one plant per cell. There we go. Let's see if they like that. idea if they'll actually want that or not, but they're Ooh. little flower scraps. <laughs> I don't know if it's something chickens like, I'm not sure. They like it. Do they like it? What are you eating? Want to get a toy? Probably. Honey, drop it. Drop it, boy. Do you have another one, please? Thank 
you for coming along with us. Let us know what you've been planting this spring on your homestead. We'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you on the next video. God bless.